Our banners and bunting stencil was one of the very first stencils that I designed and it was part of our second ever subscription box back in spring 2019. There are five different decorations on the stencil. The top two are traditional bunting styles. So we've got the kind of flag style bunting and then we have the little triangle bunting. Once I've drawn the shapes, I add in the strings to hold the pieces together and some stitching just to decorate. They're really cute. You can add them to the top of your page add in the day of the week or the month or the day into them, different headers and colour them in to match the theme of your spread. Um, so versatile, there's loads of different ways that you can use those in your journal. And the bottom three designs on the stencil are more banner style and they are separate pieces that need to be joined together. So if you draw it exactly as it is on the stencil, you will have gaps between the pieces. So what I do is draw the main part, the central part, and then move the stencil slightly so that the attaching pieces actually attach and touch to your main part of the banner. Again, I'm adding in stitching just to make it cute. Um, you could use that as a header for a page or a section of a page. There's loads of different ways that you could use that. This next one is a more flag style banner. And again, you've got one large central piece. And then the bit where the material is folding around the back, you need to just move the stencil up slightly just so that it's touching. If you do it separately, then it's going to look really strange because obviously the back of the flag would be attached to the front of the flag. And the bottom one here is a really traditional style banner drawing the centre section and then move it so that the back piece is attached and again with the other side you can see here is that I actually put it in the wrong place so I've had to use my corrector tape which I grab here um, <laughs> happens to the best of us correct that out and move it to the right place and then once you've got those pieces you can draw the missing line, add in some shading, which is what I'm doing here. And then again, use that to pop titles in. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, follow us and pop a comment in below what you'd like to see next.